Do you have any tips for staying safe when doing choking? Know your partner. Trust your partner. Do hand signals, safe words, you know, double tap. Know the body language. Just research, 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 and practice. But practice on the safe side, the cautious side. You know, if you're if you're going to try it, count to 20 and then just let go. Check in on your partner because you know, your hold might not be right. Um, and I'm I really. The whole actual airway breath play, mm-hmm. that's that's a little scary to me. Um, and that that's your I mean, the receiver the you're going to get into a flight situation. Mm hmm. Um, and that in itself will knock you out faster because now your blood's moving fast, your blood's moving faster throughout your system because you're starting to panic. And, um, if you continue to hold, you will pass out quicker than if you're calm. Right. Mm. So how extreme do you want to go? Do you want to go into that panic? Um, but it's, it's always, as soon as they drop, let go. Mm. <laughs> don't push it any farther. Don't try. Don't tempt fate. Don't just don't. Um, yeah. if you do there, I mean, you might find yourself in a situation that you're not going to be able to come back from one way or the other, <laughs> whether you'll be dead, or you'll be in jail. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's, it's, yeah, it is. It just goes back to research. And yes, play by all means, but do it safely. And do you think that things like wrestling and jujitsu and some combat sports are a good place to learn choking in in a yes. professional way? Um, yeah, um, jujitsu, um, that type of yes, those sports they mm. will teach you the ins and outs of the body. Um, because you need to know these certain things for combat per se. Mm. Um, so yeah, that is actually a good place to start to learn the basics of anatomy, um, what, what actions, what movements, what holds will Mm. actually incapacitate someone, what actions, what holds will kill somebody. Yeah. And I guess they also teach like the safety aspect, like, you know, making sure you're Partners okay afterwards. Yeah. So that is definitely a good avenue. Um, check if you happen to have uh, chats or local clubs that, that partake, there's, you know, members of said club that, that do this on a regular basis, talk Mm -hmm. to them. That's probably, you know, just the best way, get their experiences, get their take, get their, um, advice on what to do and what not to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, information's key. It just comes down to that. 